Why, hello everybody, my name is Threadx and welcome back to Star Sector. So guys, it's been a few days for me, freaking what on earth is going on? What are you playing? Well, this is on my second channel now. It's actually a game I was playing on my original channel. So if you guys want to go and check that out, look at the pinned comment below. You can see the first few episodes. But this game is going to be on the second channel now. Mostly because I had a series of unexplained or unplanned events, such as me getting a key for Mana Lords like four or five days ago. And since then I've been playing that instead on my main channel because it's Mana Lords. I mean, why would you not play that if you have a key for it? Anyway, <laughs> so this game kind of got left alone a little bit, but we're back. It's, I haven't played it in like four or five days, and we're going to try and carry on the series for fun on my second channel. It's still going to be every other day, by the way, because I'm getting ready for my holiday in like two weeks at this point, and I haven't got enough time to record content for my main channel and this channel at the same time. So I'm going to try and do my best. Uh, anyway, so let's get on the game, shall we? Let's go and try and block some pirates. So currently I've got like 150 grand. I think we just killed some bounty targets. I was trying to save up some money to actually go off and get myself, I think, enough money to upgrade my destroyer. Not destroyer. Dreadnought. Bit of a difference there. I found myself a really powerful super ship at the start of like the first episode. So I think I want to try and get myself like a good few hundred grand to try and equip it. And then we can have ourselves a massive flagship. Now, if I ever look at the map quickly, there's a gander what's going on. There are quite a few bounties here and there. We can probably try and do some more bounty missions actually. Because uh, that would mean we have uh, like enough capital to actually buy some of the large guns. Because large guns cost a large amount of cash, guys. They're not cheap. Let's try and swing through here. Now, uh, as it's also going to be on my second channel. Whoop, that's a bit scary. It will probably be a bit longer as well because I haven't got to do anything commercially. I'm just doing this in my spare time. So, how it's going to work. I'm going to try and record in like big batches of like four or five a day for like two or three days. And that should leave me for a good few weeks. So that means when I'm actually not in my house anymore, abroad, this series should hopefully continue. At least it's the plan. But we're, we're trying to figure out as we go along here. Anyway, the bounty target should be nearby this way. I think I've got myself some pretty cool ships, did I not? We found ourselves... What is this? Ooh. A salvaging rid. That's a pretty good thing to have. And I do want some XP boosts. I know it's a bit weird spending a story point on this, but it's just to do other things, really. Story point. 90% experience boost. Yes, sure. That's it. <laughs> So these guys are pretty handy. They come with like a bunch of things. Savage Gantry. So this guy's going to get us a 25% bonus to pretty much anything, which is pretty damn awesome. I just thought it used to be better than that at one point. I, th I think it used to improve like repair rates and stuff, but they got rid of that. Was this a... Oh, it's a sick fleet manticore. Yes. Do I not already have a manticore? No, I don't. But I like the sick fleet thing. I like My favorite color is blue, so having more blue ships seems pretty fun to me. Okay, so is that already damaged, by the way? It, mm, yes. Yes, it is. It's already messed up. Let's equip some random stuff on it for now, then, just so it can actually fight at some point. Uh, I don't really have anything available that's any good, though. Hmm. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Let's give it some arbitrary weapons. <laughs> what are you doing? Giving it random weapons so it can shoot back, at least. Uh, let's give it a Vulcan on the front. Dual machine gun on the side, and a light machine gun there. That should work out. For the main weapon... We haven't really got anything good, have we? We'll just give it a shield thing. It might hurt someone if we use it in battle. I can't really tell you at this point. Uh, let's, as it's going to be a permanent ship in my fleet, let's also story point it. Done. Uh, what else do we want to do? More of this? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. So this is a random ship, but it's mine. <laughs> it's in the game. Don't worry about it. Sorted. So this place actually has ruins around it, so this is a quick survey. We might be able to find ourselves a cool planet. So it's habitable, high gravity, hot, extreme weather. Not exactly the best place, but it has got ruins in it. What is this? We found a deposit of cash. Ooh. And what if- oh my god, a that's cataphract blueprint. <laughs> I found this last time I played as well. Yeah, actually, is this exactly the same thing I found last time? I'm pretty certain it is. It's tempting. Let's do it. It's mine. So if I ever get myself a planet now, I can just uh, go and just start making mix. What is this? Hello? Impoverished pirates. Hi. I would like to request my funds back with intro. What are you talking about? Oh, I stole his money? Nah, mate. It's mine. Find us keepers, as they say. Uh, let's deploy our core group. I don't know. What is my core group these days? Should we do like... Main ships with some walls, and the other one can be this. I, I don't know. We'll do that for now. Cool. Let's deploy. 
Why is everyone else faster than me? This is so unfair. I feel like I've been shafted. So, of course, this mod set is pretty new to me. Uh, so, we are currently enjoying these guns. They're from World War II. They're pretty fun. Um, now, of course, I'm not going to use them exclusively, but they are pretty funny. So, I'll use them for now. But if we find some better things, I'll use them instead. Like, high velocity drivers, I'm still going to drop them for... Uh, for <laughs> they're, they're, like, my favourite weapon. Hey, dead guy. Oh, I forgot. We found ourselves, like, a kind of battle carrier. So, that's why we got some random claw fighters helping us out. I don't know if we want to get many carriers, though, unless we find, like, a battleship version. Oh, in fact, what's my... Oh. Uh, I was going to try and dodge it, but it didn't work out very well. Take that. Beautiful. Okay, are we ready? I'm waiting for the thing to recharge, by the way. And then we're going to go ham. Ham! Wait, come back! This thing's good at anti-armor, but not against shields. So we're having a bit of trouble with that. This guy's got a lot of guns on him, but... Oh! I thought to see if I could break it out. So we are fighting away here. My ally should come and help me in a second. This guy is always a bit of a nightmare. He's... Is he... I think he's classed as a heavy destroyer. I'll just casually get out the way of that. I have one of those too, by the way. So if we want to, we can use it against him. But I'll probably wait until he has more damage on him first. Or flux, should I say. I mean, if we overload him, he's dead. In fact... There you go. Ah, that's a nice hole you have there. Same as someone. Wait, Wolf, what are you doing? Back off, mate, mate. What are you. Let me fly. Dead. Nice. Are we done here? No, there's a big enemy ship that way. Let's go and have a look. It looks big, actually. I noticed all the ships in the World War II mod have massive. Sensor scammers? Sensor scammers? <laughs> what? what am I talking about? Oh, it actually was a big ship. That looked pretty big. Ooh, I don't want it. If I I want to get like a carrier or something from that, it'd be pretty cool having like a some kind of aircraft carrier from World War II flying around. Dead. So is that nothing to do with anything? It was just some random enemy. Weird. Is this even the right place to be? Let's have a look. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Giant primer. Oh, he's actually over the other way. He's over here. <laughs> well, I may have made a mistake. I should have checked the uh, diagram thing there. But what we can do, as we're here. So look around. There might be some cool things floating around space here. Although I think I've already found my fair share of cool items in this series right at the start. So the chance of us finding other cool things is probably pretty minimal. Oh, wait, there's something here. Hello? Vindicator's Siege Cruiser. That looks fun. What is this? Uh, low tech. Oh, I'm not that bothered about low tech. It has got a gun gear cannon, though. I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty... Do you know what? I'm convinced. We're taking another story point. <laughs> no, I'm not getting anything from it. No, we're not doing it. I'll find one of those at some point. I don't want to spend a story point if I'm not going to get any bonus XP from it. Screw that. There is a mining station, though. If we get more blueprints now, it's going to help us in the long run. Vast ruin location has been identified. Ooh. <gasps> Liberator. Light Battleship. That's a pretty cool blueprint to find. And is that a pristine... No, what is this? Hypershunt Tap. Coronial Hypershunt within 10 years. That's a pretty cool thing to have. We'll use it at some point. Okay, cool. Well, I found some unique stuff. <laughs> cool. Wait, what am I capped out on? Oh, it's this. I have way too much metal right now. Thank you, buddy. <gasps> I also found some Hiver missile blueprints. Apparently Hivers are really powerful, so I think if we try and use their weapons, it makes sense that we might be more powerful. Also, I want to use this as well. Let me experiment on this. Wait. Forge template. Oh, this is not a blueprint. This is something else going on. I need to find, like, a Forge world I can mess around with. I see. I see. Oh, there are some remnants here. I don't remember this place being marked as dangerous. Maybe I just missed it. Vanguard heavy frigate. Suppose we need to find crew in the middle of space. Like, what have they been doing the entire time? I presume they're in stasis. <laughs> Instead of actually being alive and being like, well, this is boring. Uh, what do we do? Okay. Let's kind of look this way. So this, over this direction should be the large star, and we should be able to get the bounty and head back to core space. Ah, 
I presume that might be a marked world. Yep, that's that medium. That's a low. Okay, that could be a quite place, good place to go as well. So, the enemy's going to be in here somewhere. Hello? Ah, there is definitely something this way. I don't think they're that powerful, so as long Oh my god, is that more ruins and stuff? Oh no. <laughs> oh, hang I was going to say, it's an asteroid. What are you talking about? Explore. <gasps> oh my god! Well. I can't beat that right now. Yeah, that'd be a pretty bad... It's got, like, AI called super defense. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Remember this. We'll come back here one day. It's fine. I mean, if there's AI calls nearby, we'll get lucky here and might find something cool. Is that a Sunder? Is that a Sunder I spy with my little eye? Which I can't recover. I shouldn't have wasted my recovery point on the damn salvager. I feel like I'm wasting... Oh, I've got Colossus. I don't want that, though. Get rid of that as well. Move. Get rid of all this. I'm just going to dump all of that stuff. It's a bit of a waste of space. So apart from all that, I think the enemy should be around here somewhere. I mean, this is definitely the system, right? Let's have a look. Uh, a little bit of bar. Oh, the bounty di disappeared. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I guess we won't be going around trying to kill the enemy bounty target. But what is over here? Sentinel. Sentinel Gantry. What is this? Oh, I've got some free weapons, which I probably won't be able to take with me. Oh, I can use this system as, like, probably a, um... Storage base, instead of having to spend money on the other places. There's no gate here, though, so it's not very practical. Oh my god, there's an eagle! And not just a regular eagle, it's a 15th fleet version. That could be a fun battleship to fly around in. Or not a battleship, cruiser. I, was, I can also refit my fleet. Ooh. This is a fun ship. Okay, I'm liking it. What we're going to do, we're going to take all this junk, we're going to fly back to the core worlds, we're going to equip it, okay? And I'm going to use this as my main ship, because this is kind of fun to use. Uh, what else can we do here? Temporary things, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, there's someone living here. What is going on? Oh, it's a lot of text. So guys, the reason I didn't record the last few days is because I've got a pretty nasty ulcer at the moment, and talking is not exactly very fun at the moment. So if you guys want to read through this giant wall of text, feel free, feel free. I currently can't do it. Or it'll probably end the video because it'd be annoying. <laughs> uh, take shuttle. I'm going to skim through this. Lost Carney on Sentinel. Okay, interesting. The first AI war. Survivors, perhaps. There's a, there's a grandma with some crazy goggles going on. What is happening? She gave me some tea. I love it. I love tea. Actually, I don't really. If I have tea, I will become like Fry from Futurama. Which is not a good thing. So I don't like bending time and space. Uh, so they want me to take him back to the core worlds. I'm gonna go and gather. Let's just tell about current events of history. Perfect. Uh, let's just confront them with something we know, which is I found your gantry in orbit, but there's no fleet. Ah, our ancestors constructed a temporary dockyard to perform the salvage and staging required to construct our settlement. Um, interesting. You're familiar with the expression, when a subordinate wishes to conceal information without technically lying, they might answer with only exactly what I asked for. Interesting. So there's another part of the fleet hidden somewhere. Should we just ask through this and hope it gives me some kind of automatic victory? I. She seems to be some kind of cultist, crazy, loyal person. Interesting. So I guess that means we've got to try and find certain things about the planet. And then if we get like the correct answers or find what she's talking about, we can then like do something with her at some point. Of course, that was me skimming text, which was absolutely overwhelming i feel like i literally went through an entire book there so if you <laughs> people actually read it they probably know what i gotta do for now i'm just gonna fly around around me and that normally solves my problems anyway uh so bounty target's been deleted from the game there is actually a pirate base nearby but there's only seven days left on the actual charge oh, that's a bit annoying isn't it i guess if that is the case we should probably just head back towards the core systems now then so i got myself some cool ships we can try and convert them over and that could be fine okay so hades and carthage is nearby it's a military base, so in theory they should have at least something of interest for me, but there's no guarantee. Is this a giant junkyard? Oh yeah, it's 
got some free things. Well, someone could have died here at some point, so this being a bespoke thing. This place looks terrible. <laughs> it does not look like a fun place to live, that is for sure. Uh, let's have a look around. Oh, they're run by an anime person. Oh, I can explain about the colony I found. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Ah! I must bring this matter to the strategic assembly immediately. I expect we're dispatch your relief and reinforcements. So I got fifty thousand pounds. Do you know what? I'll take that because now we've got better relations with this faction, so they could probably sell me more goods. In fact, I need a commission with them. Does that? Okay, I don't, I don't want to commission them normally. Oh, I need a commission to buy all their weapons. That's a bit annoying, but I don't think it's worth pl taking that plunge. Even if it makes me a lot richer in the interim. Screw it, it'll be fine. Okay, so while I'm here, can you sell me some stuff, please? I want to get some equipment for my eagle. They haven't really got any equipment for the eagle, fair enough. Uh, what about just anything? So we've got some needlers we can try and equip. Hmm. This world's a bit stinky when it comes to equipment, unfortunately. I'd... They haven't even got any... Oh, oh sucks. <laughs> Damn it. It's okay, don't worry about it. What about augment drives? So you set it at shield, it's pretty handy if you've got a very slow one. It, that's a good one to get, but I need to do a commission with them. And some missile racks. So really nothing of too much interest here. I'm going to grab myself some random equipment and stuff. And what we'll do, we'll fly back to another world. So much stuff that's floating around in deep space. Oh! Cool! <laughs> This game's so much easier when you just play without limitations. You just walk across giant ships in the middle of deep space. You're like, well, I've got a fleet now, guys. I've literally bought no ships so far. I've just been finding them across the map. <laughs> it's fine. I made it. I, I ran into some storms I couldn't have worn the way, but it's fine. Uh, let's see. Is that a shield extender? That's conversions. Conversions are good. I'll buy that. It could be a use for one day. Okay, so let's go and see what we can do here. I want to try and get myself a few things. Uh, let's go and check out my eagle. Eagle! So there is a few weapons for sale, luckily. But they're going to be very expensive, I'm going to imagine. I've also got this thing as well, which actually has an inbuilt photon cannon. So this one's probably going to be a lot easier to equip first, just because it already has stuff going on with it. Let's get some... Ooh. Has this got infinite ammo? I think it does. Maximum ammo 40. It, oh, it, okay. It refills itself. Let's get a long range support with a very nice built in weapon. As this guy doesn't require much to actually function, it can be a very, very easy thing to equip. And then we have ourselves a nice little ship flying around. What do I want to equip for its main weapon? Let's use like some sustain. Two tactical lasers. I know it's a bit weird, but if the enemy's got a shield up, it will continually generate flux for it. And then we just have some random point defense, I think. Oh, I can't put any on the back. That's okay. Uh, let's get some basic point defense there. Okay, so this can be very basic. It has itself some... Oh my god, I can have actual bomber planes. <laughs> I think we're okay. We're fine. Uh, let's go for drone deployment. What is this? Interesting. It seems very Pacific, so... Interesting. It seems very Pacific, so I'm going to leave that be. But there is actually a squad of Dagger Bomber torpedoes with the 15th Fleet. So that does sound pretty cool. We're going to quick some of that, I think. Uh, now, let's see. What else do we want to do here? Let's make sure it has a targeting unit. I'm going to max out its various items. And this guy should be good to go. Simple as that. We'll make sure Duke is flying it. And I'm probably going to sell the Shrike because I don't really want it, to be honest. So we're going to get rid of this fella. We're going to sell him off. Uh, now I've got that ship sorted out. It's not very far, so I won't use it myself, but this one I am interested in using. I want to try and get some better weapons, but honestly, looking at the options available, it's not looking very good here, so we're going to have to go somewhere else. But at least we got ourselves some equipment for our other ship, so that is pretty good. One of the hardest things about this game I always found is just getting weapons. It, they're always a giant pain in the ass, and finding what you want to actually play with is, yeah... It's all the luck of the draw. <laughs> we may find nothing. We may find everything. It's just hard to say, to be honest. It's just hard to say. Uh, let's see. So it's going to be... Let's increase... Cargo holds. I'll put some other stuff in later on. And the rest of the stuff will leave be. Because there's not really anything I can equip on this. So it's just wasting my time here. Fair enough. Uh, repair ships available. And I'm going to sell... 
Where is it? Sword Strike. Let's also sell the Enforcer. I know it's 15th Fleet, but not my kind of ship, to be honest. I'll get rid of that. And these guys I'm definitely happy with, so we'll leave these guys be. I'll go from there. Cool. Oh, Duke's leveled up. Helmsman, for sure. Helmsman's a very good one. There was also combat, though, which the combat endurance one is also a very good choice. But it is what it is. Okay, so where do we want to go then? So let's actually do some things for the future, shall we? I'm going to pick up myself. What is this? Oh, that's pretty handy. That's very handy. We're going to pick ourselves up some additional people again. So I'm going to try and colonize at some point. I want to get myself a lot. Wait, why am I buying off the regular market? Let's get some black market stuff. I want to get a lot of supplies and some fuel. I want to really try and make sure I dive into the colony stuff early on. So have I found anywhere I can try and colonize yet? I think we found a few places, but nothing crazy, right? There was nothing that I'm like, wow, I need this right away. For now, though, I'm a bit low on money. Let's try and get ourselves some more cash again. So there are bounties nearby, but they're all quite far away. I still say we should try and... Is there any nearby large military bases? Jangler. Okay, let's try one more military base with the hegemony. And if that doesn't work out, we'll just go and kill some random bounties again and not worry about it. At this point, though, we can definitely kill ourselves some pirate bases, though. We are strong enough. We just need to get the cash to get the marines to actually push through afterwards. Because, of course, after we actually kill an enemy pirate base, we have to try and stabilize it and stuff. So that is a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, so it probably would be easier at least having a conic to start, which doesn't require to do that. But let's see. Did I not equip an active gate? I could have just flown here. <laughs> Damn it, me. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, Django, please. No weapons there. <gasps> yeah. Oh, it's got high velocity drivers and the other one. That's amazing. I love this. Okay. We've got some good options here. What do we want to try and do? Do we want to go for like full high velocity driver to break shields and we have like a nice armor or just general damage energy weapon? That could work out pretty well. I'll tell you what. I'll equip these. It's going to be very good against shields, without a doubt. Nothing to do here though. Maybe we can try and go to like a nearby energy based faction as well instead. Uh, for point defense, let's go for just... Oh, that's not good, is it? We've got a lot of options here. Let's go for point defense at the back. Point defense at the back as well. I guess we can have like a bit of a... Ooh, I'll tell you what, guys. Let's do a few, let's do a few things here, shall we? I'm going to have some manual fire Reaper torpedoes when I decide to kill enemies. We try and keep some CR safe for now because I need to switch things over. We have three pulse lasers. It's not going to be the best fit in the world because it's a bit random, but it will probably kill things. Cool, that should work out pretty well. I'm going to take command of this ship myself. Thank you. So this ship... Let's change it a little bit, shall we? I want to... Oh, rail guns. So we have two rail guns and we have two heavy mortars. I can't aff Oh, I can afford it. It's fine. I thought I couldn't afford it for a second. I was freaking out. Uh, reduce. We're going to have the heavy mortars instead. They are a fun weapon, for sure. So we've got a heavy mauler ship here. And I'm going to have two Reaper torpedoes. We're going to go for a lot of high DPS as it comes to these torpedoes here. As well as one more point. So this should be pretty effective, I think. It's got rail guns that shoot basic frigates. And it has some really high-powered heavy mortars to follow up. This is going to be a lot better later on as well when we're fighting against enemies... That specifically, ooh, that specifically have a lot of armor. Very interesting. Okay, let's drop this down and get myself an anti course you can. Yeah, that should be fine. What could possibly go wrong? And this guy, I'm already happy with this guy actually. Maybe getting some better bombers would be pretty fun. Oh, we can get some zeros. That could be fun. How fast are they? Uh, 310. What's that compared to those? They're faster. It doesn't make any sense that we have fl flying World War II planes, but it would be pretty cool, right? I mean, let's have a look. Oh my god, look how cool this is! <laughs> I love it! Okay, we're definitely going for the World War II planes, without a doubt. Unless there's a bomber version of them. I can't see any, but we're definitely going for that. That's pretty epic. Okay, cool. So I'm happy with all this for now. We are very low on money. I'm not going to bother trying to go anywhere else. We're just going to go and find ourselves some enemies to wipe out, I think. Uh, what is this? Escort mod package. They're pretty cool, those ones, but I don't want to have one right now. So, my friend, I want to buy myself some basic supplies to start flying off, and I'm going to go and kill some enemies. 
Where are we going? Oh, is there a tug, by the way? I'm a bit slow right now because of my... I mean, are you guys sure you haven't got a tug? A tug would be great. Oh, there's some 15th fleet. Oh, there's loads of them. No tugs. Okay, before we leave, let's go and quickly check out the other independent one because there should be a tug somewhere. There's actually an orbital station right next to us. That, oh, oh, I didn't do anything. What? The no, no. We can get, we can escape. <laughs> it's fine. Keep going. Full speed. Full speed. They can't catch me. I refuse to be caught. Go, 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 go. I'm sure he hasn't tried to use the uh, device against me to slow me down. I guess it's okay. Let's go and check the pirate station as well. Someone must have a tug somewhere, and I'm pretty sure we can afford one. I think they're like 20 to 30 grand off the top of my head. I could be wrong, of course. Oh. I think it gave up last second. That was pretty lucky. That's okay, don't worry about it. So, we can either try and kill a pirate base, which apparently is in this area here. And there's also some bounties nearby. Uh, fuel range is huge. Let's go and give it a shot, shall we? So, the pirate base would be a good test against our anti-armor. Because the thing I always go wrong with is I always have a lot of anti... No! <laughs> no! Not today. You won't get me. Let's get out of here. Yeah, so I always try and get myself a lot of stuff specifically for fighting enemies in ship to ship combat but then i do fall apart when it comes to heavy armor and stuff because i mostly focus on the other things so if we do try and get ourselves a nice balance between having anti-ship weapons and anti well station or heavies it'd be a good balance i think so it's going to take a little bit of time to get over there i think let's oh i leveled up while just floating around space that's pretty handy uh so i got that skill right let's go for other skills so what is the primary one i want probably the increased speed because i'm a bit slow right now and having more speed will just increase the entire game pretty much so and also i gotta worry less about flying between these storms and stuff even though i should probably just avoid them so i'm around the area it should be so we know for a fact there will be woo there will be a pirate base on one of these systems what one though i can't really tell you actually do we know specifics no, we do not. But they're going to be around here. So we're going one at a time. I'll have a quick look around. There's actually no rush. So I'm just going to have a gander around all these systems. Oh no, can we defeat these automated defenses? Let's try my extremely strangely fitted eagle. What can possibly go wrong? Uh, yes, this is amazing. It's going to be very bad, honestly. <laughs> With the these guns especially. But at least in terms of killing shields. Oh wait, the enemy hasn't got any shields. Ah. It will slowly melt them away like my smile oh i need to get the ai auto aim because they're terrible about it let's talk about this when i say talk i mean blow up immediately with a reaper torpedo behold my ultimate power it's your turn wait for it i need to get more dips close <clears throat> that was on purpose. That was a warning shot against my foes. They know I have a Reaper Torpedo now. Oh, was that all I got? No, that was from killing the enemies. What did I actually get? Derelict survey ship location. Very useful. Ooh, relic components. Are these not used at some point to do some, like, funky voodoo magic? I'm pretty sure. Or, probably a better term would be going over and doing some technology. More of the same, which is going because it's just free stuff. Ooh. Ah, there's definitely something over here. What the hell is going on in this? Why is there so many probes? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I mean, probes aren't the best in the loot, clearly. We're not getting much from them, but it's still weird that there's so many in the same. What is it like? I'm just starting to understand. I just don't understand. There's so many probes in the same location. What on earth are they trying to discover here? a lot of questions I have. Ah, oh, that's not good enough. I just want to have a nice habitable world I can start on my space emperor on. That's all. Okay, guys, I did try this. I'm not going to pretend otherwise I died. <laughs> it was pretty funny, though. Um, yeah, I'm not good enough for that yet, clearly. Um, we need some bigger ships. But that's okay, because we found even more cryopods with more defenders. Uh, let's deploy this guy for a change. Let me see how this guy works out. Let me play with you. Okay, we're going in. So these 
So these are my new bombers, right? It said they were dagger bombers, but I'm not, sh I'm not sure they actually are. Ready to see what happens in a second. Is this my photon cannon? Oh, that's fun. Have I got an impulse boost? I uh, doesn't do what I want to do. Ooh, very fun. Not sure about the feasibility of this ship in long-term regular combat, though, but it does seem pretty cool with its big-ass fight. What is this? Is that like a big torpedo with, like, guard torpedoes? Is that what's happening? It seems pretty cool, whatever it is. Let me just try the impulse boost there. Oh, reason oh, I remember this one. It in every direction. It's pretty fun. Okay, pick through, grab, done, bada bing, bada boom, sorted. Can I just not have this, please? Thank you. So, this is probably going to come to a shock to everybody here. I feel like the pirate base isn't here. I know, it's crazy, right? There's been absolutely no sign of enemies anywhere. Um, it kind of does lead me to believe that this is the wrong place. Though at least we have found some interesting things in process. We know the cryo sheep thing. <laughs> cryo sheep. We know where the cryo sleep chamber is now, so we can come back here at some point and maybe mess around with it a little bit. That was another battle. Now this is going to be more interesting over here. Ooh. Did I just find one of their drones? Okay, that, that was not a very interesting battle, so I skipped that one. But we're going to go for this. The survey ship itself. Oh, is that all we got for it? That's so sad. There's so much to loot in the system, but it's just so disappointing. <laughs> what, why is it like this? I have so many questions. Okay, I have way too much stuff in my inventory right now. I can try and get rid of a few things, but honestly, we kind of just have to just soak up the supply cost in for a little bit. Is that another survey drone or something over there? No way. Oh my god. It's okay, we'll get this one as well. Then I think at this point, we have done this entire area. It should be finished. Uh, let me just fly around the ship again. Yeah, so... We, what we do with the other systems, because if we spend all our time just exploring, that is pretty handy for finding stuff. But at the same time, I want to try and get a move on with getting money and stuff. And especially as well, because um, when we run out of cash, we're going to start getting problems with uh, other stuff as well. Because we've only got like one month of cash left until we're in bankruptcy. So we want to try and find that pirate base first. What I need to do as well, if I get some more money, I will go away and we're going to try and pick up ourselves some... Um... Wait, why don't I just do this? Boop! I slowly missed it. What the hell was that? It's a bit strange. It's got like some kind of weird EMP missile. I'm being sawed a little bit here. Let's call in a little bit of backup. Assistance is required, friend. Actually, it should be okay. That torpedo did a lot of damage to this enemy and it blew up their sh armor. So we can just poke our way through. This is definitely why this ship needs to get itself a little bit more when it comes to having DPS. But of course, we're limited on what we can find, not on what we can use at this point. And they're all dead. Do you know what? I don't even need backup in the end. <laughs> anyway, the Reaper torpedoes are enough to win the day. Cool. That was by far the biggest enemy. Oh, so what is this? This is the Iron Torpedo Rack. Could come in handy one day. You never know. Done. Okay, this system has been firmly scouted. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm going to see if we can gather where that enemy is. And now we have only £3,000 left until the sheer bankruptcy. I guess as well, spawning these random systems might help us out. Because we might stumble across something of use. Like maybe some kind of gate we can just teleport back to right away and then come back afterwards. Let's do some quick peekaboos. No. Luckily, you can normally identify immediately where the pirate base is because you will just come across pirate things in the system. It's pretty easy to find most of the time. Hello? Here it is. So this is the pirate base. We know where it is. Let's go for it now and then we're going to retreat. So I gather it's going to be down this way. Oh, there is a gate in here. Wait, is it? No, it's not. Oh, we found one remotely. Okay, we'll go over there. Wait, that's quite far. Actually, it's not that bad. we kill the enemy gate. we go and unlock that one. So we go and kill the enemy pirates. we go and unlock the gate and we go back home. At least that's the general plan anyway. Uh, enemy. I'm still wasting supplies, I know, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's not a problem. The enemy pirate base must be around here. 
or maybe I'm completely wrong. There is another probe though. <laughs> One thing we need more is of probes, clearly. Um, ooh, I can do this? Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know this was even a thing. That's very, very cool. I just want it though. I'm just going to take it over. Uh, can I take control of the array? That would annoy the pirates a little bit. And I think the pirate race is literally just over this way anyway. You can attack me. It's not a very good idea. I'm a bit more powerful than you. Okay, one more quick battle here. We'll smash our way through this a little bit. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Okay, I'm not going to waste any time with this one. Dead. <laughs> Reaper torpedoes are so good. Uh, especially against stations and stuff as well. You can do some mad damage very, very quickly. They're always fun. I try not to use them much on my main channel because it's a bit cheesy. Because I just recruit them everywhere most of the time and just blow up enemies in like a few seconds. It's pretty handy. Especially when you get yourselves the big ass launcher versions of them. My god, that's some danger. Danger power right there. And the enemy is... Dead. At least we're getting a lot of AI cores, so I don't actually like having gamma cores myself. I think they're a bit useless, but there's no reason we can't use them to just do other things. Like, we can use them to get more relation points, we can sell them to certain factions and stuff like that. It's a pretty generally useful thing to have. Ah, why hello there, pirate of base! Shame of someone to blow you up. Okay, we're going in. So we need to have our big boys, and then Manacle, I guess. I don't think we want to deploy the smaller ships in this one, because of course we're dealing with a pirate base, that will probably just instant bop them. Uh, now, I do, I'm a bit concerned about our general DPS here. We'll see how things go. Let's try and get rid of these guys. I think I might be okay against fighters, because even though we haven't got a lot of damaging weapons, we've got a lot of long range ones that always hit their targets, they might be pretty decent against them. I mean, so far we killed the first thing before we even got too close. Oh, I want to see some Zeros shoot the bombers. This is not meant to be. Okay, enemy spot here. What are those? Those are some weird looking pad guns there. It's like they've done like carbon fiber guns. It's a part of the future. Oh, you're in trouble, aren't you? Let's call us back script. I'll call back a bit anyway. They'll be able to distract enemy from that. Uh, Mountain Core, you just seem to be just usually a general, like a useless ship at this point. I should make you a bit better. Uh, pull back for now. Just get out of the combat range. If I keep firing, we should be able to break. I think he's already dead, actually. We should be able to break the flux a little bit. And if they're overloaded, which I can't seem to get them to do right now. Ah, oh, what the f Okay, this took us a while, but we have one. I'm definitely going to get ourselves some bombers, because we are not very good against stations. We did lose a single ship. Actually, I think we lost, lost a baton core as well, but it could have gone a lot better. Uh, I will say a lot of this mission was skipped because those guns were ridiculously loud and awful to play with. So I kind of just like left the game on and went off <laughs> while the game was fighting itself. I was like, look, that's too loud for me. I'm leaving those things be. Uh, take all those. Yes. Now, we're going to spend a lot of supplies in a second, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Confirm. Did I level up from that? No, I didn't get a thing for King the Enemy base there. Okay, let's get out of here. I have myself my 100 grand now, which isn't really the best money in the world, but it's okay. Uh, if we go to the gates, there's actually a gate over that way as well. Interesting. Let's go to New Azov, and then we'll head back to the core worlds. So I say I'm going to go back to Jangler, and we're going to sell them the AI cores. I think you get pretty good money for it, but we'll double check before we do it. If not, we can go to many other places and try out there. This is a medium danger. This is the right place, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so somewhere in the system is going to be the gate we can get out of with. So look around. Com relay. Okay, the gate's over there. There's also a desert world. There's probably a good chance this desert world is pretty amazing, by the way. Probably worth checking out. I don't want to fight anyone else at the moment. I have not got any capacity for anything. It's just a waste of time. Let's get out of here as soon as possible. There's also some ruins over here, but it's a bit dodgy. Oh. Oh, wait, let me do it with it. Run away! Don't mind me, so I spin around the map here. Oh, there's a Nexus in here. Damaged Nexus though, but still, still a Nexus. Class 4. 
Oh, it's still pretty cursed place, though. They always are. They always are a cursed place. Oh, I got to the bounty thing again for the... I just stole some stuff with the pirates again. <laughs> that was a really bad ruin, though. That was probably the worst one I've seen. Let's uh, teleport away, and we should be good to go. Unless there's anything crazy here. Um, I don't know. Fleets. No, I'm not seeing anything too crazy. Let's get out of it. Run away! So we can go this way. Let's definitely check out... Jangler first, and then if not, we end up in the Tritachion place. If we get both of them to like me, then I can go to one place to get some good ballistics, I can go to one place to get myself some good energy weapons, because we kind of need both anyway. Okay, so now I'm back at this base. I picked up myself some new weapons. I got myself some pulse lasers and phase answers instead of the really bad lasers. I'm also going to see if I can just buy some regular transport vessels. Yes, this is what I need. We we've got a problem right now. You definitely have a problem with carrying capacity it's a bit cursed so i want to make sure that is sorted out as soon as possible there is is there anything else i can grab for that yes a pirate freighter we'll grab that one and that should massively increase the amount of cargo capacity we have which will be pretty useful in the future here though it did of course mean i went for a quite a bit of my reserve cash i just picked up let's get cargo holds and fuel tankers and the times that by two and just like that we now have a lot more room pretty much double what i had before which is great to see now i want to try and kill a pirate base somewhere to create my empire we're going to grab some ram marines so marines and the do i have any i don't think we do okay we'll grab some of these guys i'll bring them up to the top here oh that's the wrong button don't mind me uh let's have them here so i want to make sure these marines are going to be useful in the future here I want to get as many as possible with my current cash, which is, that's enough to take over a very basic pirate base, it should be fine. I'm going to go and look around a little bit. There should be a, some kind of pirate base somewhere we can take on. Uh, so if we have a look quickly. Return, oh, I forgot about that. It could return data core. I'll tell you what, at this point, I'm going to go to do this mission instead. We will then try and start, ah, oh, perfect. Cantar's done. We'll take that over next episode. We'll start our empire next time. Ah, we've made it to the academy. Beautiful. Visit the research tracks. This, we can actually use our crazy relic components to try and do things, right? So what does this do? This unlocks, like, technology. I can unlock a fairy. What is all this? I don't think I've ever done this before, actually. Let's go... For Project Fairy. That sounds like it could be pretty fun. Oh, it has a progress thing based on what how much I give them. Interesting. So we could finish this project here. Right away. This one. We could also finish. Let's, let's finish Project Fairy. This could be pretty fun, right? Cargo. Redeem. Clockwork Fairy Cryo Chamber will now be available for purchase at animal centers. Ooh, that's pretty fun. Let's try and unlock all of these, see what they will do. I'll just use some more for now. Yeah, very interesting. I don't know if I I don't know why I have a fairy, to be honest. It's a bit random. Um <laughs> What what is this? The Clockwork Fairy is a mesmerizing creation of intricate clockwork and advanced technology. The, this enchanting mechanical creature beloved by children of fairies, tales, and enthusiastically alike buzzes around with mischievous charm. That's very cool. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. What is the actual mission here? If we talk to this guy. Captain! It's good to see you again. I'm told you recovered a uh, <clears throat> data core for our nearby location. Far be it from Sebastian to criticize anyone directly, you detect an unusual drop in positivity. So, does that mean I they know I tampered with it? Because that's probably not good. Uh, what, what is happening? The reward is still good? Ah, yes, of course! Of course, of course. There was a separate account allotment for this data recovery award budgeted into the project's uh, budget. So, regardless of who is uh, the current provost or not, you are said to be paid. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank you very much. I don't want to ask any more jobs right now because I'm going to end the episode. So, honestly, guys, I have recorded today's episode. People were like, oh, you just abandoned the series. I haven't, guys. I've had, like, an ulcer for, like, two days. It's been really painful. <laughs> so, I have recorded this episode today on the same day it's being released. And, honestly, guys, this episode 
was fun to try and record, but probably a bit disjointed because, my God, my mouth hurts right now. So I'm actually not going to record anymore for the rest of the day. Normally with these ulcers, if I give it like a day or two, they will go away. It's already been a few days. So hopefully tomorrow I will be fully healed up and I can go back to what I was doing. But um, yeah, this is Star Sector, guys. Probably not the how I normally record it, but um, I got through it. I don't know why there was so much damn text in an episode where I don't want to talk too much. It just threw it all on the screen. There was so much of it driving me crazy. <laughs> but yes, so at this point, I'm going to try and do this every other day. I don't see why I won't be able to do another one for um, Wednesday at this point, but you never know what life's going to throw your way. So at the moment, I, I do want to do one, but let's see how things go. Um, and if I get a few good recording sessions in, we should be good just to go every other day for a while. That's going to be the current plan of this. As for the actual series, goal there's not really any. I'm just playing this game of fun. We run around the map, mess around with various things. It's going to be the whole shebang, really. Um, there's no... It's just playing for fun. That's the entire thing here. Uh, apart from that, I hope that you have enjoyed the series. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.